In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the new application within the Center of Excellence Core Component solution called as Set of Wizard ARM Features. Now, this particular app is uh, located in the core component, so you can navigate to this app and click on Play. Once you launch this app, you will see some sort of a wizard uh, to configure your audit log collection uh, data. Now, again, just to give you a brief about audit log, what is an audit log means is basically uh, it, it contains all the audit based information which is happening within your tenant if you turn this on then you will be able to record those information now uh, how to configure you need to go into microsoft 365 admin center and then you need to go into the compliance okay once you are in the compliance section uh, then you will be able to see uh, information with regards to audit you know so if you click on audit over here uh, then if it is audit is enabled then you will be able to see all the searches or uh, retention policies and all those kind of information now i have already created one audit log uh, and then i can view this uh, information you know so i can see all the audit uh, results over here now going back to the application here you can set uh, it's it's a visit basically so it allows you to configure the collection of audit log information so first thing you need to uh, once you log uh, enable this application you need to confirm some sort of a prerequisites now the prerequisite for audit log setup is audit log sync flows connect to o365 management api to gather the telemetry data such as unique users launches for the apps so you need to confirm that whether the audit log search has been turned on or off your tenant must have a subscription that support unified audit logging which has come as a part of o365 management api and a global admin is required to configure the Azure AD app registration. Now, I have already created an app registration. So if you don't know the process, then you need to read the documentation to create those O365 management API app registration and provide your authentication information. Then there are a couple of mandatory variables which you need to set up, which I have already set up, like the uh, client ID and the client secret, uh, and then once I'm done with it, I can start the subscription and then, you know, like it might throw an error because I haven't uh, saved the secret correctly. Uh, so, you know, you need to do the, all those changes within your environment. And once everything is good, you will get a go ahead and then you can start the subscription for collection. Uh, it might take a while. The screen might pop up some sort of an error if the things are not configured, which in my case, yes, it will. Uh, and then once the subscription is started technically your audit logs is configured and then you can start viewing those information now where will you see this information is basically if you go to power platform admin view app and let me show you that app uh, over here somewhere you will see this audit log section you know now under this audit log section you will be able to see what are the different you know uh activity which has been done uh, and all this information will be you know like listed over here so i'm not going to go much into the depth uh, but uh, this is how you know like you can use this audit log setup application now here uh, uh once it is you know like subscription has been started you can turn on the flow you can if it is off you can turn on the flow and then you know uh, that's it you know this is how you set up the audit log now there is one more important concept over here to import an older data okay now uh, how to import your older data is i'm going to cover this in a separate video but then you know like uh, it's a simple process basically you just need to upload the information uh, now from where to upload the information is one is you if you have an older audit log data which you want to be uh, imported into your environment you need to go into the audit results and then export this results okay i've already exported it so once you export this result you need to import into one of the flows and then once that flows uh, 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 runs then all those imported data will be present within your 
application and then we, you can view that in the power platform admin view now the documentation is pretty much straightforward it will show you how to collect the audit log uh, using an http action uh, and it's a simple process to set up your app registration client secrets uh, and it will exactly show you how to get the older data as i mentioned to you search for the information export the downloaded result and run against and import it uh, audit flow which is you know it's called as admin audit log load events from exported audit log csv file and you run the flow and then all the audit data will get imported so that's it folks this is all about the new application uh, called as audit logs uh, like the set of wizard arm features uh, which is also an important application for you to set up the audit log based configuration earlier it was a manual approach it was a painful approach but now uh, based on the recent advancements in the coe starter kit this has made uh, life easier for all the administrators to configure this application thanks for watching